I'm gonna show y'all something my dad taught me several several years ago. Um, if you notice, these starters got different noses on them. All right, so here's a problem. We're gonna put these starter for this motor. We're gonna start up. All right, this starter fits this engine. This starter's no good. The starter's still good, but it won't fit this engine. I'm gonna show y'all how to swap the noses out. This helps if you're, I mean, the starter body and the solenoid are the same, but the noses, they made them to fit Buick, Olds, Pontiac, um, small flywheel, small block Chevrolets, big block flywheel, small block Chevrolets. And I'm gonna show y'all how to swap one out. Don't take but a couple minutes. Just gotta be careful. Watch for a couple of small washers. But, and I am showing you in a minute how to test them, see they're bad, the redneck way. Okay, so you can test these with a with uh, jumper cables, but my son has my jumper cables right now, so we're gonna do this with a couple battery cables and a hot battery. All right, so you take your ground, you ground it out to the side of the starter, and you take your positive cable, cross it out between the main terminal right here and the start solenoid. See? Solenoid works good, but it doesn't turn over. All right, so this is the one that we're going to use a nose off of. This is the one that we're going to use the starter. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Round it out to the starter. This one makes a little bit more sparks, so we'll go between the big post and the start post on the solenoid. Woo! That easy. So we're gonna switch this nose out in a few minutes. Okay. Let's go get started on these started on the starters. Now when you take these things apart, you can leave the, the long bolts in there. Sometimes that does help you. But you gotta be careful with don't let the back housing pop off unless you really want to get into a little bit more detailed work. And I don't mind doing it, but this is just for only we're only swapping the nose today, and that's it. this so many times I usually don't have a good course of them because I swap so many parts out on this thing. It's uh, cores for me are hard to come by with this stuff. The only good thing is this is to help you out in the junkyard if you find a good looking starter but don't have the right nose on it. Don't have to be scared of swapping it out. So we got our two solenoid bolts out. We got the power from the solenoid coming here going to start the body. Take that bolt out. And twist, pop. Solenoid removed. Then hold on to the back of it. Let your bolt fall. Pick the nose up. There you go. You gotta be careful of your, your cylinder arm in there. It has to go with this drive right here. But you'll see more of that in a second. Hey Sarah, could you please bring me the grease? I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in this bushing. Solenoid comes off again. Right now, we'll take these two back bolts, back bolts out. There we are, maybe we're not. All right. 
Because this is the one we care about. We're not going to drop no bolts or nothing. She's stuck on there pretty good. There we go. There we go. Another nose we don't need. All right, so when you take these off, I hope y'all can see this. All right, so you got a bushing and a washer on in. Make sure that doesn't fall out. We're gonna put a little grease on this end right here so when it goes into the new nose, it doesn't gall or anything like that. It makes it live a little bit longer. Plus, when you grease it, it holds that little washer in there so it doesn't slide off. So, hold him up again. Yep. So, we'll go lay him down. I don't know if you can see this, but we're going to try it. So, get your solenoid arm brought back. Get your nose up over the drive. And you'll notice this is really the only tricky part about it. Get your solenoid drive over the collar on the starter. Get your end started up in the nose. And, whoop, plop. So now, the fun part, this is the fun part, getting your nose to line up with the bolt on it. Yeah. That was something. <laughs> their first time. No fishing, no nothing. You don't put the gorilla grip on it because you'll strip out the, the hose, holes in the nose cone. Would you mind to please give me a ratchet over there? Because I forgot to get it. Mm -hmm. you, see, you know you got your, your solenoid arm in right? You can do that. You right. All right, take your solenoid, make sure your spring's on it. Put the solenoid arm up inside the solenoid. You start it inside the solenoid and bring it together. Push, twist. There you go. So, that's all started back together. Never tighten anything up until all your bolts are in it. Save you headache down the road. Put your power wire to your to your solenoid. Put a little bolt back in there. I got the wrong bolt. Find the right bolt. Sometimes these can be a little bit of a booger. That's why you never tighten them up first. Well, I said we had it.
trying not to edit this at all so y'all can see this is real time how long it takes. Okay, now, she's all together. Let's go test all right, it so out. This is the starter we just assembled, swapped the nose on a new starter body. So, all right, now we're gonna test it. Now this is the first test, so we'll see what happens. I call it a successful test. So we're gonna put on this motor, crank it over a little bit, and uh, hope this helps y'all when you're out searching for parts because uh, this, uh, this will save you some money. So there's our brand new reman starter on our low mileage engine we found. So let's just see. Let's see if it'll turn over with this starter. And if it does, then what I'm gonna do is later, probably this weekend, I've already got a distributor, so we'll get that distributor stabbed in there. I got a, we got one of these here controlling fuel leaks, and uh, we cleaned up a little bit, see if we can make this thing run. Uh, but you know, it's been sitting so long, I'm worried about compression. But that's for another day. All right, so let's see if it'll turn over. Oh, I'd say, dang, that thing's blowing me from over here. I didn't mean to squeal like a little girl, but that's a lot more compression than I thought. Hey! <laughs> and we got one that has nothing. So three out of four ain't bad. We'll get that one freed up. More likely a stuck valve. Let's do it again. Well, all right, so y'all can see where we're going next. We're gonna finish this up this weekend and see if I can get it fire up for y'all. And I hope this little video on the starter helps you out. I'll see y'all later.